Hey, good morning. This is your first time here. Welcome. My name is Austin. I'm the owner of Kraken Junk Removal. We are Tri City's number one top choice. And what do I always say? For home cleanouts. Yes, that's right. Today we have a clean out on our hands. We're doing an estate clean out for a customer who reached out to us. So uh, if you're a homeowner and you need a garage, basement, um, a house, an office, a shed cleaned out, go ahead and give Kraken Junk Removal a phone call today. 423 303921. You can also check us out online at crackingjunkmovement.com. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys with me today, show you what this job entails. So I'll take you on a tour of the house first, show you what items are in there. The customer was able to secure this dump trailer for us. Uh, and we have another one coming in a little bit. So uh, I guess here's what they got in there so far. They did a little loading already. And then here's the outdoor area. Not much on the deck, uh, but we got this two-car garage that we're going to have to clean out. I'll show you guys the inside in just a second. So here we are inside. All right, the dogs are in there. Uh, we got the den. So customer has just a handful of items up here. So uh, this room we have to do last. The customer has to go through some of these items still. And then the kitchen in there again with the dogs. We'll do that second to last. But uh, upstairs here, we just got three bedrooms two bathrooms so the bathroom doesn't look like it will be too much all right just a few items in there uh, a lot of these rooms are already cleared out so when we came and bid the job there was a lot more items but the customer packed some things up brought some things with them so that was nice We've got our trash cans in the room ready to go uh, that pile I think the customer said uh, they want to keep or donate so what we'll do is we'll separate the donatable items from the trash, take those to take the donatable items to local charities to help out those in need, uh, and keep as much waste out of the landfill. We've got some mattresses. This is staying. Uh, we got some items here. And um, I think that is pretty much it for upstairs this is the downstairs area let's go take a look let's see we got in here um, refrigerator staying so just a few items in there we do have a lot in the garage to clean out though but um, all our hazardous waste will put on the rack over here. All right, we've got this freezer. The customer does did say it works. All right, we've got some more hazardous waste. Again, we'll leave all that, but um, a lot of this stuff will be trash. So again, throw in the dumpster there. He's already packing up some stuff. And let's go over here. We've got the downstairs area. All right, in here, uh, the safes obviously are staying. Um, and then everything else pretty much is going. Okay. All right. I forgot we got this area, so things with the stickies are staying. Everything else we gotta go ahead and remove. So uh, that chair they're taking with them. Um, actually, no, we have to take that chair. But everything else, uh, nothing on the back patio. All right, we got a nice little subwoofer. He wants to keep the printer, and that will be it. done so far we've got about say half of it loaded up so far uh, we've got some goodies some things that we were able to keep some things we were able to take the donation these arrows look pretty cool put those to the side but we got the trash can on the dolly putting the bags in there and then just wheeling them out we got another 
furniture mover there. Another hand truck. So we've got all the hazardous waste on one side. And for the most part, we got all the garage area cleared out. These are donatables. Uh, everything off the wall pretty much. Everything on the ceiling's gone. There were some fishing rods up there, so I'm glad I looked up. Uh, this will take to the scrap yard. Customer says it works, it just freezes over. So we'll have to see what's going on with that. We got a little pile of metal right here. And we got Daniel working on this. We got a little scope for a gun. Okay, we got a 4X Redfield, pretty nice. Oh, did you break everything else or no? No, all that. Okay, and then we got this trailer. So we're gonna continue on. We've made our way inside the house now, so doing pretty good. Like we got jackpot here. We got a box of Altoids, but they are empty. No bueno. But they do make good little storage containers. So uh, this guy might have been into prepping. So that would explain why he has a lot of these, which is always good. You want to prep. You never know what's going to happen, especially in this world we live. At this day and time, things seem to be getting weirder and weirder by the day. Right, we're making pretty good progress. Uh, we had a second trailer. See here, it's not even quite full yet, but we're going to save this one for the larger items. Uh, I think we have like maybe a couch and a recliner, so we'll throw that in there. But love when you're on the job and you find little goodies that you can bring home for your kids. So I uh, found this. My son's going to love it. This room is a disaster area, so I'm going to play a little joke on him when I get home and say, Hey, I got you something from work today, and then show him this. So we're uh, doing pretty good. We got this trailer now, uh, mostly loaded up. We got just this little corner here left. We got everything else in there. Uh, the other trailer, as you can see over there, it's pretty much uh, about 80% full. So. We just got this little section here to to use some space up here but uh just got those desks that we're gonna throw in probably both in there and the rest of the trash will be in there all right we are for the most part about 90 percent done refrigerator staying the room's cleaned out got all that cleaned out still got to clean out this room not much not much in there though but as you can see in here all done. Just gotta sweep up in here. Everything in here is all done. Got the bathroom all cleaned out. And bedroom number two. Look like it's all cleaned out in here. Bedroom three is all clean. Bathroom. Uh, can't take the hazardous waste. Gotta clean out this. So that was it for this job. It was a pretty big one. We started early in the morning. We finished about six o'clock, and then it was my helper's uh, birthday, Daniel. So took him out to a nice Mexican dinner, and uh, this is on the way home from that. So all in all, it was a good, solid day's work, but. Thank you guys for tuning in. Catch you next time.